Hawks on getting a quarter of an ounce. Lovely. Lovely. But before statewide cannabis sales go into effect tomorrow morning, New Haven's mayor, the health director, and police chief are laying out expectations for anyone planning on heading into the Elm City to pick up some weed. We want to make sure that uh, people are armed with uh, uh, information about the law and uh, are very responsible in their uh, possession and usage. Here at the Affinity Health and Wellness Dispensary on Whaley Avenue, we're told there will be a limited menu tomorrow, but those looking to buy up to a quarter of an ounce will need to show a government-issued ID photo at two security checkpoints. And they expect folks to start lining up before sales start at 10 a.m. We're encouraging everyone to place their pre-orders online. They can start placing their orders uh, at 6 o'clock tonight so that when they get there, they could come in, make their purchase, and leave in a timely fashion. As for the law, there are plenty of rules to keep you and others safe especially driving under the influence. After the purchase of marijuana, you cannot go into your car and open it. Chief Jacobson adds when it comes to smoking, it's just like the tobacco law. So you can't use it in city buildings or parks or restaurants. And since it's 21 and over, the city's health department says its education efforts will be ongoing to make sure people know they need to be responsible, specifically asking folks to follow the three L's. Lock it on making sure that individuals secure your product in place and it's out of reach of loved ones and children, label it. Mark your product so that loved ones and children know it is cannabis product and it can cause a reaction if um, taken um, without the proper measures. And limit it. Try to limit the amount of cannabis products you keep in the home to avoid overeating or overconsumption. Now, with statewide, with statewide recreational sales starting tomorrow, New Haven's police chief says his biggest concern is that it ends up in the hands of minors. We'll have that part of the story coming up tonight on Eyewitness News at 6. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.